Hello members of the master race, I am back today doing another video on the 1700X and the 1800X. Before I start, there was a video a few days ago that I made on the recommended motherboards for the Ryzen CPUs and uh, I only mentioned Asus. Of course, like I said, I will be doing an updated video when new motherboards come out. There's of course the Gigabyte Aorus, which is coming out, but it's still not available for sale anywhere, which is why I didn't include it in the video. So now we can move on to the discussing the 1700X versus the 1800X and is it a good price to performance ratio. I'll try to make this video as short and as comprehensible as I possibly can well, without getting into too much detail. So let's start. Now, according to the specifications of both these processors, the 1800X and 1700X both have the same amount of cores, threads, uh, they both have 16 megabyte cache, but where they do differ is the clock speeds. The 1800X has 200 megahertz per core more than the 1700X. So what does this actually mean in terms of real performance in games or programs? Well, so most benchmarks that I've seen so far in programs and in games uh, say that there's a 6% difference between the two processors. So basically to sum this up, 6% performance difference between the two and 20% uh, price difference between the two. Now benchmarks say 6%, but I don't think it will be that much exactly. I think it will be a little different for everybody because not everybody uses the same motherboard, same graphics cards. Some may use a graphics card that will bottleneck the processor. Some may use a really powerful graphics card that is going to increase performance. Basically, I would say from 5 to 7% would be more realistic. That's just me though. So what would I actually recommend? Well, I've talked to a lot of people on different forums and we all reach a consensus on this. Basically, if you have a $500 to spend on a processor, uh, I would recommend to go with the 1700X and then uh, get a nice water cooler. I recommended one in the description that's pretty damn good for this. And since both processors have the XFR, which is the extended frequency range, which so if you watch my previous videos, I explained already, it overclocks the processor based on the temperature. So if you get a really nice water cooler, the clock speeds will just run insanely high. And for $500 in total for both the CPU and the cooler, I think that's the best price to performance ratio in my opinion. Now about the 1800X, they are the AMD's absolute best Ryzen silicon. Now these are the golden chips, they have no defects and clock is the highest. The reason why there's such a good price differential between the 1700X and the 1800X is because the AMD wants to give people an attractive proposition with the 1700X and still have the opportunity to earn some nice profit margins on the 1800X for those who either don't care about the price and just want the best that they can get or simply want to support AMD for bringing Ryzen to the market in the first place. Now I read this somewhere but I do agree with it. If you got any questions that you didn't see covered in this video please leave them down in the comment section I will respond. In the end the pricing for everything is in the description. If this video helped you in any way please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys for watching very much appreciate it and I'll see you next time.